Without the Facebook Business Manager in 2021, we wouldn't have been able to produce these amazing results for our clients, such as these hundreds of thousands of website clicks, thousands of event registrations and leads, and hundreds of thousand dollars of sales. That's over a half a million dollars in sales for one client. That's because the Facebook Business Manager gives you some powerful tools that you can use to astronomically help you with your Facebook marketing. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the features of the Facebook Business Manager, and then I'm gonna show you some real client examples and how we're using those features to achieve some pretty amazing results. Now, Facebook is always updating and there's been a few updates to the Facebook Business Manager in 2021. So I'm gonna do my best to break down every feature that you need to know about. First, I'm gonna explain what Business Manager gives you access to, and then I'll do a live walkthrough with you sharing some of these results. Okay, let's dive straight in by explaining what Facebook Business Manager is. A Facebook Business Manager is like your hub or your host. It's a place where all your Facebook digital assets live. With everything being inside your business manager, you can easily access all of your assets whenever you need them or assign permissions to specific people or agencies like us. Now, a lot of times I see people confusing Facebook Business Manager with a Facebook business page. But no, these are two completely separate digital assets. Which by the way, a digital asset is basically something that you own in a digital form. So a Facebook business page is like your website. It's a public face of your business on Facebook. Whereas a Facebook business manager can sort of host a Facebook business page, but a Facebook business page cannot host a Facebook business manager. Okay, so some people also confuse Facebook business manager with a Facebook Facebook ad account, but it's the same thing here, okay? The Facebook business manager can host or own a Facebook ad account like this, but not the other way around like this. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a little insight into Facebook Business Manager versus a Facebook Business Page. So far, you just need to know that a Facebook Business Manager can be like your hub or host where all your Facebook digital assets live. Here's a graphic that pretty much sums it up, so feel free to pause the video right here. Now let's go ahead and dive into about 14 digital assets that a Facebook Business Manager can house and then share how some of our clients are actually using these assets. Number one, you have your Facebook business page. Now we just talked about this, so I just wanted to quickly mention that if you wanna know all the amazing benefits of a Facebook business page, then I'll link a video up from Brandy where she breaks all of this down. Okay, number two, a business manager can have a Facebook ad account. Now an ad account gives you the ability to do sponsor ads on Facebook. And with a Facebook business manager, you can create new Facebook ad accounts, which is great, especially if you have a business with multiple locations or websites and you need to advertise them separately. But one important note on this, keep in mind that once you create an ad account in a business manager, you cannot transfer ownership later. Basically the business manager that creates the Facebook ad account will own that ad account forever. I imagine this is because they want to make sure one company takes responsibility for all the advertising and the bills of those ads. Also, I should note that it is not required for you to have a Facebook business manager to start a Facebook ad account or a Facebook page. Usually when you set up a profile on Facebook, you kind of already start with a Facebook ad account. Now there are just so, so, so many reasons why you won't want to advertise your business on Facebook. So I'll link a video up from Karan where he breaks down Facebook advertising in 2021 if you wanna learn a little bit more. Moving on to feature number three, your users and your team. So oftentimes when you get really serious about your Facebook marketing, then you're gonna start working with a team. Hey Sean, look, I can build a whole team of Sean's. Okay, not that type of team. What I mean is that one day you may decide to hire someone either internally or to work with an agency like us. When that time comes, you're gonna wanna make sure that certain people have permissions to access certain assets. 
For example, you may have someone who is managing your Facebook or Instagram stores to have access to your product catalogs, whereas you may want someone who is creating new posts to have access to your ads. Thankfully, Facebook Business Manager makes this process super easy by quickly allowing you to select people or partners you wanna give specific access to. I'll show you exactly what this looks like a little bit later in this video. Oh, and by the way, if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. I'm Sean with Life Marketing, the digital marketing agency that helps save small businesses from bad marketing and no growth. If you're enjoying the information I'm sharing with you so far, please hit the like button so that YouTube shows our videos to more people like you. It really helps in supporting our channel. And also subscribe if you wanna see more of our videos in the future. All right, moving on to feature number four, apps inside of business manager you can add review and assign your facebook apps facebook apps allow your fans to interact with your business more usually without leaving facebook which is great for conversion rates so if you have a custom app and you want someone to work on it or if you just want to give permissions to a third-party app that you're using to help your business it's all possible within the business manager next on the list feature number five Instagram accounts. So if you haven't heard by now, Facebook owns Instagram and lately the two platforms have been integrating a lot with one another. You can share posts, stories, and even do some advertising from Facebook to Instagram. Recently, Facebook added Instagram accounts to the business manager so that you can assign them to the people that you want to have access to it, thus allowing users to create posts, stories, advertisements, and manage your stores on your behalf. Which brings us to feature number six, commerce accounts. So your commerce account is essentially your Facebook or Instagram shop. The business manager gives you access to commerce manager, which you then can use to manage your shop, your catalog, and even run some Facebook ads. Number seven feature is WhatsApp accounts. As of 2021, you can now connect WhatsApp business accounts to your Facebook business manager. WhatsApp is very similar to Facebook Messenger, but with a phone number attached to it instead of a Facebook profile. So if you have a WhatsApp that is set up for business, then you can now manage some of those aspects from your Facebook business manager in 2021. Next, I'm gonna move on to the data sources that are available in Business Manager, which are immensely powerful. Okay, each of these data sources can be accessed or created within the Facebook business manager, which then gives you the ability to share them with other people or even other assets. Okay, a little bit more on that later. So our number eight feature of the business manager are Facebook pixels. Facebook pixels are small tracking codes that you can place on your website. And once you have that pixel installed, you can track your website visitors by pages or even edit the code to track some conversions. This in itself opens up a new world of opportunities to create custom audiences so that you can run powerful campaigns like retargeting, which leads us into our ninth feature, custom conversions. Once you have a pixel installed, you can create custom conversions, which are basically URLs where you can track where someone has visited. For example, you can do yourwebsite.com backslash cart as a custom conversion for add to carts. Or you can do yourwebsite.com backslash thank you as a custom conversion for purchase conversions. Okay, so when you have pixels and custom conversions established, then you can easily tell what exactly is working and then laser focus on those targeted audiences. Moving on to our next feature, feature number 10, offline conversions. Offline conversions are just that, conversions that happen offline. So if someone was to enter your business, buy something in the store, then that will be considered an offline conversion. At the point of purchase, if you're able to collect some information about the customer, like an email address, then you can upload that data into Facebook to see how many customers that bought something in your store actually saw your Facebook ad, which if so, then you could attribute that sale to the Facebook ad. 
And again, this can all be done with inside of the Facebook Business Manager. All right, moving on to feature number 11, catalogs. So if you have an online product and you wanna sell it directly on Facebook or Instagram, then you're going to need a product catalog, which is basically your list, your place for all your products, their descriptions, their images, and even some pricing. This can also be set up and managed from the business manager. Okay, the last data feature I have for you are shared audiences. Now this is an advanced feature, but here's what you need to know. You can create new audiences with some of the data sources that we just mentioned. So you can make an audience of all your website visitors, Facebook fans, and more. Then with shared audiences, you can give access to that data from one ad account to another. For example, if you have two Facebook pages and you wanna target the fans on both of them within one advertising account or campaign, then you would have to share the Facebook audience with one of those ad accounts. So basically, you can combine or share any audience that you own, and the Facebook Business Manager helps you keep record of all of those powerful combinations. Okay, so now that's a pretty comprehensive list of all the features inside of Facebook Business Manager, but don't get overwhelmed, okay? The truth is you don't really need to use all of them. In fact, majority of our clients derive the most benefits from about six key features, which are usually these. Of course, number one, you need a Facebook page, which is basically a requirement if you're gonna do any kind of Facebook marketing. Number two, we recommend all of our clients have a Facebook ad account, which is required if you want to amplify your reach. Number three, we recommend that you have an Instagram account inside your business manager if you want to do any type of sponsored ads on Instagram. Number four, you need a commerce account specifically if you're e-commerce and you want to do a product sale or have a store to sell directly on Facebook or Instagram. Number five, you have to install pixels because pixels help you track everything and the more you can track, the more successful you can be. And number six, the users feature. We use that a lot, of course, because it's nice to be able to assign permissions and access any of those apps and assets that you need. And again, those are really the main ones that you absolutely need to pay attention to. However, if you do have a sizable company with lots of data and assets, then the next two features I'm gonna go over will definitely stand out to you because they help you stay organized on Facebook. So feature number 13, business asset groups. This feature allows you to take all the assets that we just went over and then combine them into a single group which you then can give access to. Here's an example of some use cases. So let's say you have multiple different brands or multiple different websites, then you likely will have multiple different pages, ad accounts, and other assets associated with those brands. So business asset groups allow you to separate all those Facebook assets into their own brands. Another use case could be if you have multiple locations, like a franchise style type of business. Then you can also have multiple pages and ad accounts and other assets like pixels and shared audiences. So again, business assets allow you to separate all those assets into locations this time instead of those brands. So again, this is a pretty advanced feature and usually reserved for those people who have lots of assets. And the last feature I wanna talk about is feature number 14, lines of business. So this feature is very similar to asset groups, but more appropriate for organizations who have multiple departments. For example, you may have a product team, a sales team, and a marketing team. Each one of these departments will require different asset assignments, which lines of business makes it super easy for you to set up. Okay, so again, these are two pretty advanced features and usually reserved for those people who have lots of assets that need to be organized. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Facebook Business Manager Live. But really quick, before I do, I just wanna say that of course this is a huge overview of Facebook Business Manager going into 2021. So if you have any questions or would like to see us make a specific video about anything we just covered, then please, please tell us in the comment section below. We love getting your feedback and we're taking it very seriously. Okay, so now let me hop on the computer to show you everything live. All right, so first things first, if you don't have a Facebook Business Manager, then you can create one by going to business.facebook.com. It's super easy to start one. Just click that create an account button on the right side, follow the prompts, and then you're set. And if you have any established assets like a Facebook page or an ad account, then you can begin adding your assets to your new established business manager. 
All right, so I'm gonna head over to Life Marketing's Business Manager to give you guys an idea of what every day looks like and how it works. All right, so of course this is a live business manager, so I'm gonna blur out the people's names as well as any sensitive client information. And we're gonna pay a lot of attention to some of the buttons in the panel on the left side. So as we talked about here on the left side, we have users. You can add people, partners, or system users to your big business manager. All right, and to add someone, it's super easy. You click this add button, you type in their email address, and this invitation will be sent straight to their email account, not necessarily their, their Facebook profile. And then they accept this invite. All right, and you can invite people to have employee access or admin access. Now as an employee, you can give them access to specific assets or as an admin, you can give them access to pretty much everything and let them have at it. All right, so once you decide what you wanna do there, you can begin adding them to your different type of accounts, right? Your uh, account assets. So again, you can add them to different Facebook pages. So I can select a couple of Facebook pages if I wanna give them access to it. And I can set the permissions here on the right side. So if I want them to just view the page performance, I can give them that. If I just want them to create ads for the page, I can do that. Or if I want them to just publish com uh, content, I can give them that access as well. All right, here on the left side, same type of thing. I can select the different ad accounts I wanna give this person access to, and I can set the permission. So if I want them just to view the performance, again, I can do that. If I want them to manage the campaign fully, I can give them the ability to do that. So it works that way with a lot of the different asset types and accounts, uh, which makes it super, super easy because before you would have to go to every single page and every single ad account and then give someone access to it. Facebook Business Manager makes it super easy with just a few clicks um, to get the job done. All right, so after that, you have the different accounts. So again, this is where all your um, assets will live, your different pages, your ad accounts, your business asset groups, your apps, Instagram accounts, and so on. All right, and to add your accounts here is super easy. You're gonna find a blue button here at the top. And you can add a page that you already have. Um, if you don't have access to a page that you should, you can request access here. If you don't have a Facebook business page yet, you can simply create a new page right from your, ad, your, your Facebook business manager. All right, same thing here with your ad accounts. You're gonna see a list of all the ad accounts that you have. And again, you can easily add an ad account that you already have permission to. You can request access to an ad account that your business should have. And you can also create a brand new ad account right here from the business manager. All right, keep in mind now, if you create a new ad account in a Facebook business manager, then that business manager will own that ad account. All right, so that, that ad account can no longer move um, and it's pretty much stuck there forever. Although you can give people access to it, whether that be different um, employees or partners. Okay, so keep that in mind. And I won't go, go through everything here, but of course you can see everything we talked about here on the left side, your business asset groups, apps, etc. And so let's go ahead and look at a client scenario, uh, how a client can use business manager tools. Okay. Oh, let me point out really quickly, data sources is right here. So all the catalogs, pixels, offline events, custom conversions, shared audiences that we talked about, that's all here on the left side as well. You just have to expand it here by clicking that little expand button. All right, now let's go ahead and look at a, a client example. I'm going to pull up a client who does some events. And again, we're going to blur out, blur out some of this information because it's super sensitive. I don't want to give away too much um, that this client has given us. All right, so um, let's go ahead and look at a campaign. I'm gonna go back to the campaign we ran in March. Here's a good one. All right, so this campaign, let me go back. So as you can see, this particular campaign generated 3,370 event registrations, all right? That is a lot of event registrations. We were very pleased with that, especially in a short amount of time that we were able to accomplish it. Now, in order for us to track these event registrations and show it here in Ads Manager, we had to use a feature of the Facebook Business Manager, which are those pixels, okay? And with those pixels, we were able to create a custom conversion. Anytime somebody landed on a 
Uh, thank you, Paige. We were able to track it to the campaign. And why, was, why is that so powerful? Because with our campaign, we did several different targetings, targeting several different ad sets that you can see here. OK, so each ad set here, we're going after a slightly different audience and we're able to see exactly which audience perform the best. OK, and so that type of tracking, that type of insight gives us the ability to make smart moves very quickly. All right. Now, on top of that, we're able to determine which ads are performing the best. Right. So we set up a lot of different ads and then we can nail down exactly which ads are generating the best results at the best possible cost. OK, so those are really, really important reasons why you want to have a Facebook tracking pixel installed and how um, you can do that within the Facebook Business Manager. All right. Now, keep in mind with the Facebook Business Manager, you also would need a Facebook page, which which, which uh, this campaign has. You would need an ad account, which just the campaign has. And of course, the pixels to track everything. I also want to show you guys a very effective campaign. Um, a very effective audience called the retargeting audience. Now, retargeting uh, is obviously when someone clicks to your website and then uh, they don't necessarily convert and you want to show them another ad, give them that extra nudge to actually make the conversion. So I'm going to go straight down here to the custom audiences. So with the Facebook pixel, we were able to not only install it, but we're also create this audience called retargeting, send a new ad to anybody who's visited our website. Now, really important, we were also able to create an audience to exclude anyone who has already registered. All right, so that means we're not hitting people multiple times who've already registered. We're still going after new people or people who have not converted yet. All right, the last thing you wanna do, a big mistake, big, big mistake I see a lot of people making is they are not excluding people who have already converted, meaning they're wasting their money, showing their ad to the same people again and again. All right, so that's again, another very powerful um, component and benefit of the Facebook Business Manager. Now this is of course just one case study, one client example um, where we use the pixels, we use shared audiences, we use retargeting audiences, we're using the Facebook ad account and the Facebook business page. And of course we were able to sign permissions to everybody who needs access to all these things along with the business manager. Of course, we did not tap into um, the commerce accounts. There's not a shopping store here. We didn't tap into some of the other commonly known features here, but uh, overall, this is the setup that you might wanna explore um, to have success with Facebook Business Manager in 2021. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. This is the quick walkthrough here, guys. If you have any questions, remember to write a comment or um, ask them uh, online. And I'm gonna hop right back in front of the screen to wrap up the video. All right, so there you have it, guys. Everything you need to know about Facebook Business Manager this year. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We look forward to sharing more valuable content with you in the future. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'm Sean, and I'll see you in my next video.